You like taking a, the odd picture of your pet, don't I, you? I might put a few things on the gram, yeah, now and again, when she's had a wash. Look at you with the street <laughs> chat on the gram. Uh, many of us might take pictures of our pets, but could you use them to make money for charity? Well, our next guest has done just that, with pictures of her beautiful seven dogs. Uh, Kaylee Garrick has turned them into local celebrities, not just local celebrities, actually, uh, by selling a calendar with them wearing all <laughs> sorts of things, a wellies, a dressed as mermaids, even as the Peaky Blinders. Kaylee joins us now from her home in Scal Away in Shetland and I'm very glad to see that the dogs are there as well. I'm um, just tell us how did this all start? Hello, good morning. Um, well, it really all started with dog number one, Fenton, um, where we originally used to take photos to promote uh, Shetland. Um, Fen uh, ended up as one of the uh, Visit Scotland's ambassador dogs. Um, and then from there, we just really seemed to add dogs and the ideas just got crazier. And um, it ended up that uh, people were telling me that the photos were like helping them through if they were going through a difficult time or stuff like that. So um, I started kind of making them more colourful and more happier. And that's really where we are now. <laughs> Do you know, we're just looking at some of them now. I mean, I can think, I think they're dressed here as a... Oh, no, this may be Game of Thrones, actually. Peaky Blinders are wearing wellies. I mean, they are incredibly well-behaved. How do you get them to be still for this? Oh, utter, utter bribery, so I can describe it. They are, through every photo, they're looking for the treats. <laughs> um, I kind of... There's lots of people that's been asking me, like, like how do you do it? And... Um, we use what's called a positive reinforcement technique, which is um, I if reward um, the, the behaviour that I want to see. So if they sit nicely and they pose, they get a treat or they get the ball. Um, I don't know if you've seen a really horrible videos that um, a, a supposed trainer, Jeff Gelman, has put up recently, um, where he's, <laughs> there is absolutely no logic in, in hitting a dog to get it to do it what you want it to do. The whole way to get a dog um, to, to be able to do a trick is to have them to be confident and for them to trust the, the person that's asking them to do what you want to do. Can, I, um, can you do one thing? Because I know the dogs are there. We're watching various of the <laughs> pictures of the dogs. Um, t talk me through the dogs. Who's who? Right, so we've got... And it's different. <laughs> we've got right in the corner here, we've got Tiago Fenton, Thorin, <laughs> we've got Yara here, Gimli somewhere down there, I think you can see Murphy just behind me, and then Ghost is there. <laughs> and which, so of them, just... which of them is the, is the ring leader? Who's the best behaved? Fenton, by a million miles. There she is, I think she's just up there. <laughs> Um, By a million, million miles, Fenton. <laughs> and so, of course, um, th these, I understand that um, these calendars have been sold all over the world. What they do, are, I mean, they're, they are fantastic. Um, wh why well, do you think that is? Um, I think they're just that wee bit different. Um, there's a lot of people saying, like, oh, I've never seen, like, me seven dogs, sometimes eight, because we use mum's dog, um, dressed up. Like, I mean, it's the Peaky Blinders. Well, congratulations to the Peaky Blinders, by the way, just seen the National Television Awards. Um, and I think the fact that, I mean, these guys love doing what they do. And you can, you can see that in the photos as well. They, they themselves look, look happy. And I think when people look at that, then it makes them happy as well. I mean, who doesn't love a happy dog? <laughs> OK, well, listen, thank you very much for your time. And obviously, we haven't got a statement from the dog trainer she mentioned, um, but um, we will also obviously um, give that uh, information to him and give him a chance as well to respond. The right to respond. There's, you know, there are lots of different ways and debate about how you train your dog, but in my house, treats work. <laughs> Treats go a long way, don't they? Yeah, little mini sausages. That's the secret in our house. Uh, it's uh, eight forty-seven, and thank you. Whenever we do a pet story, I know our wonderful BBC Breakfast viewers are very good at sending in uh, your own pictures. So uh, have a look at this. This is uh, from Jenny Newman, who says her hounds Stan, Rory, and Nessa are living their best life. So uh, pick. Here we go. On we go. Look. Not sure I put clothes on my dogs, but here we go. Feather says nobody beats these guys when it comes to being photogenic. Look at them. Uh, Jennifer has sent in pictures of her two spaniels. Uh, that's Boris. And uh, this is um, Slug. <laughs> Look at Slug in full flow there. Uh, apparently, Sarah has an office dog. 
This is Tess, sent in by Sarah. Thank you very much indeed. Wearing glasses. And finally, uh, Gareth has sent in this picture of his girls on uh, Westwood Ho Beach. <laughs> Those he is. Thank you so much, as ever, for all of your photographs of your, um, your pets. We know that you love them so much. We really appreciate it. I've sent Carol an apology by text message for not listening not to the end listening. of her weather. I was trying to listen, and I'm sure I thought... I thought I heard Carol say it was going to get cold this weekend, and then I picked up on that, and she was so lovely in the way she said, no, you're an idiot. And <laughs> she didn't say that. No, I know, no, no, it's no, a nice Carol way of that. saying it. Oh, bless you, Dan. You didn't need to apologise. You probably heard Lou and I saying it's a cold start to the day and just mixed it up, that's all. But it's actually going to get milder in the next few days. So this morning we have...